what's going on guys Shivon here back with a new video and since my previous video where I did my homeroom theater setup where I had a $200 projector I got a lot of feedback over 90,000 views and then it got so much traction that a lot of different projector companies started to reach out and I had to pick some projectors to show for you guys so I have two in the lineup but today I have one for my new room so if you guys can realize from the b-rolls and everything i moved into a new room I have all white walls and i think it's the perfect time to get a new projector to see the difference between i had a gray wall before this new white wall looks good i have a huge space a decent setup and i decided to show you guys the projector i went with now it's still under that 200 dollars price point because i know everybody's looking for that 200 250 not really 300 but that 200 to 250 budget price range and i think i have the perfect projector for you guys today so today with me guys, Godi sent me the BL98. Now this is their one of their newest products and you can get them from their website or from Amazon for just around $200. Now first off, the projector looks good. The aesthetics is amazing. You have that all white finish with some nice silver dent in accents. It just looks good. It looks modern and it fits any setup perfectly, especially my room which is all white. Now for the projector itself, it has everything that you need. It has two HDMI ports, two USB port, a micro SD card slot, VGA port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and an AV port which is used for external audio. That's what I think, I'm not sure, let me know down below in the comments. Now the port selection is amazing because if you're using something like a Chromecast, you're perfectly fine. You could connect anything, laptop, tablets, your phone, games, anything of that sort, you could connect it with all the ports that you need. Now on the top of the projector, you have a lot of functions. You have everything that you need to control manually, but thank God they also sent a remote. So you, the remote is also used to control it. And the good thing about this remote is that it has good range. You have everything you need. You have the pause, you could change the source, dive into the settings, change the volume, mute, turn on and off. And the reason I said good thing they sent the remote is because you, when you set up your projector, it's almost every time out of reach. So even how good the IO, I mean, even how good the menu buttons are on the projector itself, you won't really get to use it that much because you won't be getting out of your bed or your living room just to find some settings on a projector because some people like to mount their projectors and it's always out of reach so having a remote was a good addition and I appreciate that the remote has good range so you don't have to point it all the way back to the projector or anything you could just literally point it at the screen and the projector would work you could control the volume dive into the settings anything you want to do do it from the remote now if you're playing videos for example on a google chromecast you can't pause it with the remote all right you could only pause media that's on like a usb hard drive or something like that you can't pause stuff that's playing from like a google chromecast or amazon fire stick just to get that out of the way because some people are confused in the last video they were asking if you could use the remote to control like your google chromecast and no you can't do that for my media source, I'm always using the Google Chromecast since the projector doesn't have a built-in Wi-Fi or anything. So I use that to stream media from my phone or a laptop. And overall, I'm loving the setup so far. The projector is at the perfect height. And because I'm moving to a new place, I cannot bore holes into the wall or anything. So I had to do is that I had to get like a projector tray you could find them on amazon i already had a tripod laying around so i just ordered a projector through tray for like 15 dollars then i used a tripod and i just set on my tripod behind the bed and it looks good i just have worries sometimes that it might fall but so far it has done great it's been up there for like a week and i had no issues now my setup is pretty basic the projector is sitting about eight feet away from the wall and i get up to 74 inches of screen real estate which is amazing but what's even more amazing is that the projector can go up to 200 inches if the projector is placed further back from the wall up to like 24 feet now the image quality and the colors are great it looks good for movies and even games. I would recommend playing competitive games on here because this projector wasn't made for gaming, so it has a noticeable input delay. But for fun games like Mario Kart, anything like on the Nintendo Switch, Minecraft, some Animal Crossing, some Spider-Man, you'd have a lot of fun. Personally, the Godi Y620, which was my last um, projector I reviewed, it has a tad bit sharper, um, image quality and color accuracy, but so far I had no issues watching videos on here 4k videos all my tech videos I watch on here and I had no problem 
so in daylight you could still enjoy content but for sure it always would look best in the dark or at night time because you remember it's still a projector at the end of the day so as you can see guys the quality looks amazing and if the image quality looks blurry and not sharp enough to you you could control that using the focus ring and get everything leveled with the keystone that will be found on the front of the projector but if you want to dive deeper into customizing the image quality and the sound and everything godi has a wide array of settings that you could dive into so these are the settings you could go ahead and play with so you have the picture mode you could change that from like standard to soft user we could go ahead and control the contrast the brightness if you will the colors and also the sharpness just to your heart's content you also have sound settings you could change the sound signature change the color temperature aspect ratio noise reduction all of that stuff and also you could change the projection mode so if you have it mounted under ceiling you could change that to rear ceiling front ceiling back you get the gist let's go back to the menu right here you can reduce the display size change the hdmi mode in sound settings you can change between standard mode which i like the best and also you can turn, turn surround sound on if you want to but i just keep everything off when it comes on to the um the sound settings so yeah you have a lot of settings you can change on in here you could have software updates and everything personally guys the only issue I found with this projector is that it kind of gets loud and it's not like loud where oh my god I can't watch this movie this is so annoying but you could actually hear it because when you turn like if you're just sitting in your room it's kind of quiet when you turn it on you could definitely hear the projector is on but when you start listening to stuff the audio from the projector kind of drowns out that background noise so it works out well overall and especially if you get the external speaker to connect it to then you won't really hear that noise and the fans and everything and it kind of gets hot as well so just make sure that you have good ventilation inside your room but yeah let me just show you guys what this actually sounds like okay guys so this is where my projector is sitting and this is how my room will sound if the projector is off so peace and quiet you know tranquility so let's turn it on Let's go a little bit closer. And now you can hear the fans kicking and everything. But as I said earlier, when you start playing audio, it has it has speakers built in. The audio kinds of drown out that noise. So let me just connect it. Just like so. Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the 11 inch iPad Pro and the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Now the 11 inch retails for $800, 12.9 inch retails for $900. It's always $100 more for the larger version. One of the great things here is that with the base models, we do get 128 gigs of internal storage as opposed to the previous generation, which all the time, and it was a huge mistake. Basically, over the past year and a half or so, I've been playing around with the leading games and everything. So the fact that this is 128, this is really great because you're going to be able to fit a lot of stuff in here without having to, you know, break the bank and upgrade to a larger size. Now, of course, this is a size comparison because now the iPad. All right, so that was the audio quality and also the sound test of how it sounds when the fans are kicking and everything. And it's still on right now so let me know what you think about that down below in the comments so overall guys i definitely recommend you to check out this projector it's a good projector for anyone that's just starting out in the home theater setup game it's a good budget good beginner projector everything works well the image quality looks amazing you could game on here watch all your favorite movies and you could definitely get a way bigger screen estate from something like a 50 inch TV which would cost you around $700, $600 to get some good quality images. So yeah, everything will be down below in the description and I'll try to get back to Godi to see if I could get some discount code for you guys. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this setup and as always, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.